They'll be calling you a radical. Generational arrogance. This proves generational arrogance. The earth is fucking round, not fucking flat, as the white Anglo-Saxon, as the English Alkeesian economics is mine, as Plato fucking hypocrisies. Oh, they're not white Anglo, they're fucking Persians, 300s, Greek Cassandras, or Pandorans. We have to say that it's flat. I hope you can see it. So those white caps over there. Can you see those white caps over there? How far away that is? Do you have any idea how far? That's a long fucking ways. How can they have snow on them and these ones don't? That's how they knew the earth was round. That's the curvature of the earth. Now right there, I live right there. The trestle, the wood trestle used to go over the lake. They tore it out in 2001. By the way, at the very end, the guy that tore it out sunk his tugboat and drowned. They tore it out. You just go out there on my boat. Nobody even knew it was there. I was out there all the time as a boy. As Maryland, that clip where they're lassoing the horses, very real, very real on the lake floor. My dad used to go out to those guys calling drugstore cowboys, but you could go out there, the lake got beautiful and flat, and you could see the curvature of the earth because the bridge was over the lake. Locomotives. Yeah, they tore out the redwoods. Almost made them extinct building that thing. It's generational arrogance. Is that religion by definition? I don't know. Life and test? I don't know. How is this nuclearism? I'll tell you how it's nuclearism. Nuclear is generational arrogance by definition. Even more. Even more. Oh, we have to say it's a circle. Oh, my telescope got it. Galileo. Hypocrisies. The hierarchy of needs. What about air? Oh, they said it came. It's John Air. As he said, can I go back in time and place and history? Where would you go? Egypt. majority was beating down and it was opposite and the majority of America was African Americans and they were beating down the whites Martin Luther King even being black I'm sh I think there's no doubt in my mind if he was asked he would have been supporting the poor whites which he was supporting the poor whites it, that's what you guys don't understand about generational arrogance and nuclearism and that's my point here that's my point they throw down the wedge issues they did with the pharaohs. It's as old as fucking 500 years. This is class fucking warfare. What's the hierarchy in the top of class warfare? Nuclearism. Air, air, air. The fucking jet stream. This thing is curved. This thing is round. This. You know how far away those mountains are? You know how far away those are? That's the Sautis. 100 miles? More than that. More than that the curvature of the earth. You don't think the natives, as Stegner said, you think the Germans invented genocide? You don't think the American West. Would you stop? No, I would not stop there. I would go to Mount Olympus and the Papillon. Oh, have they restored that thing yet? The cultural theme park? Oh, no, the cultural theme park's in New York City now. Hypocrisy. Hypocrisy. Liar-itis. 300. Cassandra. Would you stop there? No, I would come right here. Right here. The Donner Party got stuck in the mud right here. I would come right here. They were still murdering and executing whole families of California Native Americans in the 1940s. There were stuffed Native Americans in the Metropolitan Museum in New York City, clear from the 1970s. I hear they're still there. In the basement. Would you stop there?
understand the Gettysburg Stress four score and 500 years ago. Wow. Economy in the United States is bigger than the real unemployment rate is 30%. The average medium income in the United States is $15,000 a year. I can prove it. We've developed a pseudo de facto government. We've developed a pseudo de facto just arrogance. Hairsprayed a masquerade fucking party. As religion hijacked, generational arrogance, not about to. Let's get real about that. Let's go fucking grandstand, beat the fucking war drums, and when the vets come home, forget the fucking war drums. They're all fucking draft dodgers. They're all the fucking opposite of their own theology, even if their theology is fucking right. They're this fucking round nuclearism amok. And you fuckers say, I'm a broken fucking rare. Remember this, fuckers. There's right here, right here. Energy solution. Here's round. There's 104 of these fuckers in the United States. 104. We've got, okay, two of them shut down to San Alfredo. One shut down a fucking Yankee. I hear Pilgrim's gonna go. Maybe Indian Point. Uh, yeah, we hear a lot of things. Pussy Riot sold out. Pussy Riot sold out. So now, uh, how do you get a platform on 16 fucking uh, uh, As the nuclear option that they say he has, I think it really is nuclear. I think it's eugenics. Cal Berkeley, the biggest scumbag that ever fucking lived. Because I'm on my way there. I'll be there in San Francisco soon. Is it eugenics? Is it genocide? Pacific genocide. Stegner, right here. You think that the Germans invented genocide? They knew the fucking earth was round for millions of years. Obama's going to Fukushima. I think it's a marquee event. And month. Are they going to finally entomb it? There's rumors that they're going to. If that's true, and they really do finally entomb it, they give up on their eugenics U. Then was it eugenics for three years? Why did they entomb it? In Secretary said, use it in a corporation way. Westinghouse. I thought Toshiba bought Westinghouse. You break the contract with it. Come on. Putin. 
all these new world order? No, it's old world. It's feudalism. It's the same inbred fucking family. Barry Antoinette, let them eat yellow cake. Really is Dick Jason's fucking eighth cousin. Really? African American freaking great great grandchildren of Man of Bell slaves running down the NFL fields with executed Chinese slaves. Here. You white bread fucking whatever. Black, white, tall, short, fat. Beautiful. <laughs> it's nothing to do with it. threw down the fucking red pill. They threw down the fucking blue pill. This is class fucking warfare. Class warfare. And we lost the fucking war. Is it too late? Yeah, Fukushima is so much of it is out. Is the coin melted down? I don't know. I don't know. But remember this, fuckers. There's 104 of these fuckers in the United States. What happens when we get one at San Luis Obispo? Huh? The gesture moves left to right. What happens when we get there? What happens if we get one at Indian Point? What happens at Oyster Creek? What happens at Homestead? What happens in Savannah? Oh, we build another one, the first one at 34. What happens then? What happens then? Think about this, just the evacuation. Oh, they're returning. No, they're not fucking returning. They're not returning to Fukushima. They don't return to Chobo forever. Forever. First fucking round! Slavery. 500 years ago, the pharaohs, they said, what's the tool the pharaohs have? Keep them fighting among themselves. God gaze, guns, gold. Keep them fighting among themselves. Race. Race, we're still talking about race. Class warfare, this doesn't mean shit. Round stand to 